Firstly, import your clips and add an adjustment layer like this. Then add the effect Ripple Dissolve onto the adjustment layer. Copy my settings. Keyframe percent done at the start of your second clip. Then make it 100 before and after like this. Highlight all the keyframes, easy ease them like this, or press F9. Next, add the effect S-Shake onto the adjustment layer. Copy my settings. Keyframe amplitude at the start of the second clip as well. Then make it zero either side. Highlight and easy ease the keyframes. Add the effect brightness and contrast onto the adjustment layer. Keyframe brightness at 100 at the start of the second clip, then zero either side like this. Easy ease the keyframes again, and then highlight the S-shake keyframes. Go into the graph editor, right click and make it edit speed graph. Copy this graph. This is the final result. Once your clip is imported, add a new text layer. Write the player's name. You can use numbers like me to make it look like a username. Choose your font. I am using the Minecraft font. You can install from the website DA Font, which I will link in the description. Click on your text layer and press S on your keyboard to adjust the scale. Add a new solid object and make it gray like mine. Go up here and choose the Rectangle tool. Making sure your solid is selected, mask a rectangle around the text like mine. Press T to change the opacity. Make it 60 to 80. Pre-compose your two layers together by highlighting them and pressing Control, Shift, and C, or on Mac, Command, Shift, and C. Add the effect drop shadow and copy my settings. Press P on your keyboard to change the position of your layer. Also change the scale. Now go on to motion tracking. Select the clip of the player and press track motion. Drag this square to either the player's ear or nose and adjust the squares like this. Press the arrow and wait for the clip to finish playing. Press Edit Target and select your pre-composed layer. Click Apply. Press U to show keyframes. Making sure all the keyframes are highlighted, you can adjust the position of the username.
easy ease them. Lastly, add the effect Deep Glow and copy my settings. That is the second effect done. Firstly, import your two clips. Make a new solid layer and make it black. Drag it above the two clips. Add the effect Double C Jaws. Shorten the solid layer. Copy these settings. Keyframe the completion in between the two clips as 75. At the start and end of the solid change it to 100. Highlight and ease the keyframes and then go into the graph editor. Copy this graph. Turn on motion blur. Press P to open positions and then add a keyframe a second or two before the end of the first clip. Then go to the end of the first clip and move it to the left or right. Easy ease the keyframes and copy my graph. Now keyframe positions a second or two after the start of the second clip. Then move it to the opposite side at the start of the clip. Easy ease again and copy the graph. Enable motion blur on both clips. Add the effect motion tile top both clips and copy me. Adjust the keyframes if needed. And that's the last effect done.